Greetings, one and all! I am Redskin1000. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time, we took on Trainer Tower and pretty much finished up with the Sevi Islands. Although, if there just does happen to be something major that I missed, I'll pop it in a bonus video. Because now, we're moving on. So we're very close to finishing up this LP, just a few more loose ends to tie up. And that includes the one I'm about to tie up now. I am here on Route 2, for a very specific reason. Um, because we are going to catch a roaming legendary. That's right, this game does have a roaming legendary. Uh, who is it? Um, most of you probably know who it is, but those who don't, I will leave it a surprise until we find it. So, um, there's a reason I'm here on Route 2, and it's because there's a strategy I like to use for um, catching this roaming, le roaming legendary. I'm not the one who came up with this strat, I've just seen it used on videos, but it totally works, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it. But you probably already know, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, uh, first thing to note is the roaming legendary is level 50. So you want to go to a place that, you know, where the wild Pokemon aren't at level 50. And I'm here on Route 2, where the wild Pokemon are level 5. So I think we're safe. Anyway, the next thing you want to do is you want to have a Pokemon in the front of your party that isn't... That is above the level of all the wild Pokemon in the area you're going to be hunting for the roaming legendary. But below the level of the roaming legendary. So in this case, we want it to be below fi level 50, but above level 10, and this hero fits the bill perfectly. It's level 36. That's great. So when I'm in the front of the party, and what we want to do is, I suppose you watched my um, Ruby Water Monitor, but I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing I did to find um, Latios in that game. Is um, so yes, I'm going to. You want to buy a lot of re max repels, or super repels, whatever you buy, just you want to make sure you have a lot of them. <laughs> Unless I get insanely good luck like I did in my Ruby Let's Play, but I don't know if that'll happen. Because I did a test earlier to make sure um, this Roaming Legendary will show up, and it did show up eventually, so... Yeah. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to pop one on, and then run through the grass. Now what this does, is it means we won't encounter any of the wild Pokemon in this area. Because our Thero is a higher level than them, and as we all know how repels work, it keeps away Pokemon that are higher leveled, not, that are lower leveled than your lead party Pokemon. So since every Pokemon in this route, normally, is lower level than our lead party Pokemon, we won't encounter anything. But we want to encounter something, because the Roaming Legendary. So the way Roaming Legendaries work, if you don't know, is every time you sort of like screen transition or use fly or anything like that, it'll switch, it'll just switch locations randomly, just bounce around the map. It's also worth noting that this roaming legendary will only be around the Kanto mainland, so don't go searching the Sevi Islands. It won't be there. So what you do is you do, a, you know, run around in this grass for a while. Not too long, probably about, I don't know, 100 steps, maybe just back and forth. You know, 10 to 12 times, which isn't 100 steps, but whatever. Yeah, you don't necessarily do this on that too, but this is the place I like to do it. Works for me. And if you don't find it, enter, exit. This will change the position of the roaming legendary, and just try again. So, we're gonna run, and Republic Effect will so Whenever that happens, just pop on another one. That's why I wanna bring a lot. Okay, so we're not finding anything. Bummer. So, we're gonna enter. So, like, this place is good because this little entrance here where you reset, where you reset the area, it's very close to the grass. That makes it very, very nice. Still not finding anything. I know, this could take a while. <laughs> Sadly, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get as lucky as I did in Ruby with the Roaming Legendary. It might take me a little longer to find this time, so... What I will probably do... Is I will just, um, I'll cut to me finding it. Unless I say something awesome while I'm searching, in which case I'll put that in. But, you know... I won't, like, bore you guys with just me running back and forth, back and forth. And it's not gonna be boring, so... Um, I will be cutting away, and I will see you when I find this ente! Hey! Found him! It's Ente! <laughs> The moment of surprise was kind of ruined when I accidentally said its name before I cut. Go me. 
Yeah, I'm really smart. Yeah, that took um, about seven minutes, so... Could it take them longer? <laughs> if it wasn't as short as when I found Latios in Ruby, but never, never mind. We have found our Ente. And, I, you know, that's just a... Yeah, that's just, just that's, you know, that's just my phone, the group chat, they're just chatting amongst themselves, it's not a big deal. So hopefully I don't buzz too much. Anyway, yes, here's Entei. Um, one thing to note. Um, depending on who you pick as your starter, you may, that depends on which Roaming Legendary you find. Uh, since I picked Bulbasaur, the Roaming Legendary in my game is Entei. If you started with Squirtle, the Roaming Legendary in your game will be Raikou. If you started with Charmander, the Roaming Legendary in your game will be Suicune. So yes, depending on your starter, that depends on what Roaming Legendary you get. You can only get one. It's like, um, are you going to set those in phase in X and Y? So yeah. It's a bummer, yeah, but hey, what are you going to do? That's just how the game works. Also, um, this will not appear, I believe, until you, uh, defeat Team Rocket on the Sebi Island. So, uh, yeah, make sure you, like, defeat Team Rocket, you know, get both the gemstones, give them to Celio, and then I believe that's when these Roaming Legendaries spawn. That's, at least that's what I believe. I believe, like, as long as you do that, then they should spawn, but I think it might also have something to do with taking Team Rocket out of Ice Hall Cave on Four Islands, you know, with Lorelei and stuff, so. Just do both, just do, just do both those things and you should definitely be good, you know? Um, yes, yeah, so that's really just what they'll explain about Entei, or just, you know, the legendary beasts that you'll find, depending on your starter. Now, what I'm going to do... I'm going to use... Mr. Master Ball here! Because we all know the thing about roaming legendaries. They like to... They, that's the thing with roaming legendaries, if you don't know, is they flee. Like, pretty much instantly. As soon as they can, they flee. And if they're really fast, they'll flee before you can even get an attack in. So unless you have an ability that stops Pokemon from fleeing, or moves that stops Pokemon from fleeing, Roaming Legendaries will flee. Like, instantly. First chance they get. Even if you put them to sleep, they'll still flee. Which makes no sense, but it just happens. But yes, uh, so I'm gonna use my Master Ball on them to make this a little easier. I realize that there's another Legendary I'm gonna catch later, that it's gonna be pretty, uh... Yeah, aggravating to catch it without the Master Ball, but at least that one doesn't run away. So, yes. I'm gonna try my luck there with, like, Ultra Ball. Um, and there's another reason I'm using the Master Ball here, and I'll explain that, you know, once I've caught it. But for now, let's do this puppy. Perfect. Got ourselves an Ente. Oh yeah. Okay, that was added to the Pokedex. Entei, the volcano Pokemon. Volcanoes erupt when it barks. Unable to restrain its extreme power, it races headlong across the land. Cool. So, let's go back to Vermilion City and take a look at this Entei. Since we really didn't get a good gauge of it because I just threw my Master Ball. Here it is, Summer. There you go. And it's got a brave nature. I don't know if remember what that does. I don't have my type chart next to me. I don't have my um, nature's chart next to me. So I don't know what brave does. I, want, I think it like raises attack? No. So those raises attack are lonely, adamant, naughty. And yeah, I, actually I think it might be brave. I think it's plus attack minus speed. I think. Uh, it's got the ability pressure, which makes the forces the opponent to use 2 PP every time they use a move instead of 1. And it was Ember, Roar, Fire Spin, and Stomp. Now, remember when I said, you know, there's another reason for me chucking this Master Ball? Right there. Roar. Now, you may think if it roars you away, you know, like, you really don't want to use your Master Ball, you may think, oh, if it roars me away, I'll just find it again. <laughs> no! Because there's actually a glitch in this game. Um, yes, there's a glitch in this game that involves these roaming legendaries. I'll read out what it says um, on Bulbapedia, so credit to Bulbapedia for what I'm about to say here. It's called the Roaming Roar Glitch. If a roaming Pokemon uses Roar to flee from battle, it will permanently disappear from the game. 
Most notably, this means that if the Raikou or Entei player encounters during the post-game uses Roar before it is caught, it cannot be encountered again unless the game is reset to the state which it was in before the encounter. So yeah, I mean, theoretically, yes, you could just reset your game, but if you, say, had, like, um, weakened it, and, um, you know, you'd weakened it, you'd status conditioned it, you'd trapped it, you spent all this time doing that, and then it just roars you away, it's gone. If you gotta reset your game menu, you feel pretty crabby, because you gotta do all that over. Yeah. So yes, um, that's that, that's the roaming roar glitch. Doesn't say anything about Suicune, I'm guessing because Suicune um, probably doesn't have roar, so if, I guess if you started with, um, Charmander, lucky you, but, yeah. So that's just one thing to keep in mind, is this, um, roaming roar glitch. There's also another glitch that involves these roaming legendaries. It's called the... Roaming IV glitch, and again, credit to Bulbapedia for what I'm about to say here. This glitch causes roaming Pokémon to have extremely low IVs. In Generation 3, the data for a Pokémon's IVs are stored in a 32-bit integer. However, when a roaming Pokémon is captured, only the last 8 bits are transferred. While the HP IV is unaffected, the Pokémon can only have a maximum attack IV of 7. The other IVs will always be 0. So yes, um, that just involves, like, Raikou's stats and stuff, so pretty much low IVs mean it's, um, probably doesn't have very good stats, so because of that glitch, so that's just something else to keep in mind. So yeah, so roaming legendaries, uh, I don't know if they were programmed very well into this game, but regardless, we caught ourselves one, and, uh, yes. And that's the only roaming legendary in this game, but you worry about that. So, uh, that is it for that. Um, this will be it for this episode. Um, it'll be a fairly short episode, but after last episode, that's probably not exactly a bad thing. Anyway, there's one more thing I want to do before we take on the Elite Four rematch and end the LP, but it's going to be a pretty big thing, so let's keep that in mind. I'm going to fly to Celadon City, Cerulean Cave. That's where we want to go. Um, when I said Celadon City, I meant Cerulean City. They both start with C, man. It's, it's confusing me. Anyway, we're gonna go into t really, no, no, not that guy's house. Right there, it's really in cave. Um, before you, before you defeat the Elite Four and the champion and become champion yourself, watch the credits, all that hoo ha. Uh, there'll be a guy standing in front of there. He'll be like, "You can't go in. Access denied." <laughs> but now that we've beaten the Elite Four, we've become champion. We've beaten the game. We can go in, and there's a legendary Pokemon waiting for us in there. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. So, um, yes, we'll, uh, go capture that legendary Pokémon in the next episode. So, thank you very, very much for watching. I've been Let's Get a 1000, and next time, we're gonna continue our legend, wait for it, Dairy Adventures. See you next illusion.